guys, it's Billy Geek one here back with another video. As you probably read from the title, today isn't going to be one of my normal Minecraft Let's Plays. Today I'm actually going to bring the camera out of the room to show you guys what it's like to be a race walker. A lot of people really don't know what race walking is, and that's something that really fascinates me. And usually the people that do know what race walking is, usually just don't really understand it or don't respect it for what it is. I'm here today to kill the stereotypes of race walking not being hard or race walking being a joke, whatever the stereotypes you may have heard about race walk. My intentions of this video aren't to like make you a race walker or whatever you may think it is, that's not my intentions. It's a huge part of my life and something I'm super passionate about and it's something that I really want to show you guys why I'm so passionate about it and why I love it so much. I know some people that have been bullied out of race walking. I know some people that aren't doing it anymore just because of the fact that people don't think it is a good sport. Some people think it looks funny. Some people don't really understand it. And they like to vocalize their opinion to people that aren't really that mentally strong. I'm making this video for the people that are currently overcoming some sort of obstacle in your life, whether it be with race walk or anything. For the people that need that little extra push to say, hey, I don't care what you think, I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. It's the night before one of my biggest national championship races and Tomorrow, I am going up to New York to race in the 3,000 meter race walk in Staten Island. While I'm there, I'm going to be recording it all for you guys on my iPhone 6S camera, so it probably isn't going to be that good of quality. But I'm going to get the point across. My mom's going to be recording the whole thing. I'm going to show you guys what it's like to be a nationally ranked race walker. So make sure to stay tuned. This video is definitely not a Minecraft video, but Minecraft videos will be coming out this week. I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to go to bed. I'm kind of tired. I will start recording in the morning. I'll talk to you guys then. Hey guys, it's finally race morning. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. I just got out of the shower. I'm feeling pretty good. I'd say I got a solid five hours of sleep last night. I'm not really sure why. I just couldn't fall asleep for some reason. Nonetheless, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to go. As you can see, we're bringing out the Superman shirt for the race today. I'm a big believer in the feel good, look good, race good kind of strategy. Do you already know we gotta look our best while trying to put down the best time I ever have. We're leaving in like 20 minutes. The ride up there is about two hours. We're gonna stop on the way, get some food, get ready for the race. I'll check in with you guys on the way there. Uh, yeah, I have to. That's my mom, custom scramble. You already know. It's the morning of the race. We are on the way to Ocean Breeze. Breakfast of champions right here, like two or three eggs. Seriously, cannot go wrong with eating eggs before a race. Honestly, it's all up to you what you want to eat before a race. Some people eat a bagel. I know some people that eat yogurt. I always go with eggs. It's all up to your personal preference. All right guys, so we're about 50 minutes away from Ocean Breeze. As you can see, we have my lovely biggest fan and my beautiful mother over here driving us safely on the New Jersey Turnpike. So I just had to explain something real quick of what my goal is for today. As you can see, we have all of the records in every single state here. So I live in Pennsylvania. I'm a 17 year old high school junior and I am gonna try and go after the Pennsylvania indoor high school state record today. As you can clearly see in this fine print, it says that the Pennsylvania record is 1342.61, set by Trevor Barron in 2008. Trevor Barron was one of the best American race walkers of all time. It would be an absolute honor to be able to take down his record today in New York. I'm feeling really mentally strong. I'm coming off of having a cold for three weeks. However, I feel like this record is within reach. We're gonna find out. We're in New Jersey right now. We're gonna be in New York pretty soon. I'll talk to you guys when we're at the Ocean Breeze Complex. Oh yeah. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, there's lots of geese. Geese are always a good sign. This place is absolutely beautiful. Outside of these huge windows, you can see the ocean, you can see ships, you can see lots of good stuff. My mom's going to park the car. We have about an hour and a half till my race. I'm going inside to go pick up my packet and pee and all the normal stuff I have to do right when I get to a track meet.
Me and the geese vibing out before our race. This thing's definitely like me. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, so as a warm up, I'm gonna go with my geese friends, as you can see. Geese are always good signs before races, although they don't seem to like me very much. I love the geese. Love the geese. <laughs> so the current time is 9.35 and my race goes off at 10.20. So that means that we are 45 minutes out from my race. I'm gonna start my warm up. I usually do one, maybe one and a half miles jogging and then one and a half miles race walking. As you can see, the stadium is starting to get filled. My race actually has men and women and it has all ages. They're putting all the race walkers together because there isn't enough race walkers to have separate races. So it's gonna be a crazy race and a crazy start. I am currently seated second. There's one person a little bit higher than me, which I'm trying to beat, but obviously the time goal right here is 1342 and that's what is more important. So I'm gonna go warm up. I'll talk to you guys after. Here's Jillian. Jillian is racing with me today. Jillian, say hi to the camera. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Hi, oh, there you go. <laughs> so I just finished my warm up. It was about 3.25 miles total. It was a really tough warm up. As you can see, I am sweating like crazy. We're about 35 minutes out from the race and it is time for me to do my drills and do my stretches. The drills from race walk look a little weird, but I assure you that all of the drills that I am doing have some sort of purpose in the race. So I'm gonna do my drills like right here. Obviously had to rock the American shorts today. I have a lot of drills that look really weird, but I'll explain what they are all for. So the first one is just a normal race walk just to get us started. As you can see, when I race walk, one leg has to be on the ground at all times, and that leg has to be straight until it passes underneath the body. So the most efficient way to race walk and the fastest way to race walk legally is doing this thing called a hip roll, which is basically where you roll your hips from side to side as you have a straight leg. As you can see, you can see why people find it a little funny. I used to find it super funny too until I tried it and realized how hard it actually is. Again, this video is just showing you guys why I'm so passionate about race walk and why I love it so much. The race goes off in 25 minutes, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my stretches and my drills, and I will see you guys when my mom is recording the race. Seconds. Jacob! Jake, 0. 0.12 seconds off. 0. 0.12. Oh my god. I he would have had the state record for high school. High school. Okay. Obviously, a really, really disappointing race. I miss the state record by 0.13 seconds. To say the least, I'm obviously super disappointed. It was a really good race. I had a really good time. One of the best race walkers I know, Rich Luchu, he was the person in front of me who was pace setting me through the first mile. If you're watching this video, thank you so much, Rich. I'm about to go cool down with you. Obviously, it wasn't the race I was expecting. I expected to break the record, but we were off by 0.13 seconds. 
such a disappointing day, but guys, I had a really good time making this video. If you guys want to see another video like this, please make sure to comment some nice. I told you guys at the beginning of the video, this video isn't intended on trying to make you a race walker. The intentions of this video is to show you how hard and difficult race walking is and to break any stereotype you heard about it not being a hard sport or about it being a joke, whatever it is. I can assure you it is a really hard sport. It has a really special place in my heart. And I had such a great time going out there today, race walking in front of everyone in New York. It was awesome. I can't wait to try it again. Hopefully in the upcoming weekend, I can try and get another race in. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Maybe I'll do a part two of me trying to hit another state record. Cause guys, you can't leave it on that. You can't just be .13 seconds off and then not do it again until next year. We gotta get that record. We gotta do it. Hey, what's up, Rich? I'm, yeah, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Want to get my vlog? Yeah, this is for YouTube. This is Rich right here. He was pacing me through the mile. You're the man yeah. for absolutely pacing me. You're the best, man. I that was you, awesome. When you race next time, man, go get it. Yeah, absolutely I will. All right, I just cooled down with Rich. I'm currently leaving Ocean Breeze, my beautiful place. However, fortunately, I think I'll be back next weekend or the weekend after that to give a second crack at that Pennsylvania high school 3,000 meter record. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You guys are the best. I had a really good time making this video, even though I missed it by such a small margin. New videos will be coming out this week. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Talk to you later.